what you're looking for. For God so loved the world that He gave us His one and only Son to save us. Whoever believes in Him will live See you. 
This man who needs some amazing kind of grace For forgiveness and a price I couldn't pay I'm not perfect so I thank God every day There was Jesus There was Jesus Shadows on the alleys. There was Jesus in the fire in the blood. There was Jesus always in always was. No one ever was. You were always
Good morning, everyone. I'm a little nervous. Sorry about that, but um, I just wanted to invite or welcome everybody to our graduation recogni recognition Sunday. Um, I feel especially close to this group of kids, mainly. I mean, not only because Gavin is mine, but because I've had so many of these kids through the children's department, through children, and then through youth. Um, I was thinking back, and I was actually, I've been in ministry here at Pleasant Hill since 2012, when I started in the children's ministry, um, my Wednesday nights, teaching the second and third grade class, of which Mr. Maddox Stamps was in. I will never forget that, but <laughs> Maddox is a hoot, I love it, but not only not long after I began teaching that Wednesday night class, but Gavin joined us, and so I've had Maddox and Gavin from that Wednesday night class to Children's Church to the youth, and it's just, I don't know, today's bittersweet, this whole week is going to be bittersweet, but um, and I'll have to say uh, goodbye to them as youth, but not as members of the church, so it, it's going to be hard, but it'll be okay. Um, with all of the graduates that we have, I have loved getting to know each and every one of you. You've been in the youth. I've seen you in the children's department. I've seen you at VBS. I mean, just so much time, so much I've seen with you, so much time I've spent with you. I wanted to give you a few words of encouragement. Um, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to pro prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. While I believe that this verse doesn't mean that God will immediately rescue us from our hardship or our suffering, I believe that it's a promise that God has a plan for our lives, and regardless of our current situation, He can work through it to prosper us and to give us a hope for the future. So remember that, and no matter what you face in your life moving forward, Remember that God has a purpose and a plan for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start presenting the, the 
graduates. So if you are here, when I call your name, please come up and just stand in the front. And at the end, I will bring you, I'll bring down your gifts and let some of you say a few words if you would wish. All right. Our first is our kindergarten graduate, Miss A.J. Campbell. She is, I want to make sure I read all of this. She's graduating from kindergarten at Central Elementary. She is the daughter of Danielle, Danielle Goins and Brandon Campbell, granddaughter of Terry and Carol Goins, and the great-granddaughter of William and Sheila Rhodes. Most of us know sweet AJ. And for our high school graduates, we have Miss Michaela Carter. She graduates from Wilson High School. She is the granddaughter of Phil Everett, and I was supposed to add some more to that, and I forgot. But <laughs> her future plans include attending the University of North Alabama. All right, our next graduate is Miss McKinley Cooper. She is the daughter of Zach and Candy Cooper and the granddaughter of Daryl and Robin Mitchell. She will be attending University of North Alabama to major in elementary education. All right, our next graduate is Gavin Davis. Gavin is the son of Brian and Amanda Davis, the grandson of Doris Davis and the late Billy Davis and the late Wilburn and Diane Highsmith. His future plans are attending Northwest Shoals Community College to transfer to the University of Alabama at Huntsville to major in engineering. Next we have Anna Lee Hester. She is the daughter of Chad and Elena Hester and granddaughter of Wayne and Laura Kelly. She will be attending the University of Alabama to major in Management Information Systems. Next we have Yura Ono. She is with Zach and Candy Cooper as well. She is our foreign exchange student from Central. She's been with us all year. Her future plans include returning to Japan to study to become an ER doctor. Next, we have Trace Landon Rhodes, son of Tracy and Jessica Rhodes, the grandson of Ray and Jeannie Creek Moore and Jackie and Mary Rhodes. He will be attending the University of North Alabama to major in information technology. All right, next, Maddox Stamps. He is the son of Mike and Lisa Stamps, the grandson of Joe Graves and Monica Wright, and the late Layman and Marie Stamps. He will be attending Northwest Shoals Community College on an ambassador scholarship. All right, and next we have Chase Townsend, Case Townsend. He is the son of Catherine Townsend. He will graduate with an EMT certificate from Northwest Shoals Community College and will continue working with the Central Fire Department and plan to join, plans to join the Florence Fire Department. And as someone who ha he has been a responder to, our, to a fire in front of our house, a grass fire, I'm very much appreciative of that. All right. We also have Maddox, McKinley, and Gavin, who were Mr. and Ms. CHS Coronation Court representatives. So three of our youth were able to represent our school. The teachers choose the members of the court and then students vote on them. So that was a very, very high honor. I'm gonna go ahead uh, with the college um, honoree. Alex Thompson will be graduating from the University of Alabama. She is the daughter of Lee and Danny Thompson and granddaughter of Danny and Vonda Frederick. She graduated at the University of Alabama cum laude with a degree in digital marketing. And then we have for graduate school, Katherine Morgan Graves. She is graduating from UNA. She is the daughter of Dennis and Gail Morgan and is graduating with an education specialist degree in teacher leadership. I know that each and every one of these have worked extremely hard. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna present the graduates with their gifts from the church and from our youth group. And I'm also um, gonna let them, if they wanna share a favorite memory, I will let them share a favorite memory.
all of the all of the um, youth got study Bibles from the youth department, and then we've got a card with a gift card in it for each of the graduates as well. All right, would any of you like to share one of your favorite moments in youth? Not to put you on the spot. Maddox, I know you've got one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I try to make things short because I don't like standing up here either. Come on up here, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, I think it was my senior year. Candy, am I correct? That she, what year was she born? Oh, five. No. What, no, it was you. Never mind. Okay. So, okay, never mind. Blew that one. For, <laughs> I was going to say that I held her, and I probably did, but I held her mama in my cat suit. Uh, but no, my favorite of you is I think I came to you one Sunday morning because God had given me a word for you not to settle. I think that, was that the word? I, okay. I did. I had a dream, and the Lord said to me, you need to tell her not to settle. All right, so that was my favorite memory that I share with her. This one, my favorite memory is when they first got with Amanda and Brian they were pitching. He was uh, football from day one, and him and Hunter throwing balls in the yard for as long as Hunter would throw that ball, Gavin would throw back. I mean, all day. Anna Lee is the only woman in the world that I can share shoes with. <laughs> I'm coming back to you. All right, this one right here, when he was about this tall, his mom and dad brought him to church one morning, and I've always loved to pick at him because he was so like scared of me and so one morning I was making small talk and I said something and I said holy crap and he looked at me and he said don't take the Lord's name in vain <laughs> and I was like okay I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that I didn't mean to that I didn't mean anything but that's my favorite memory here <laughs> all right this one in the old church during a service was playing with airplanes the little, the little metal ones, and he hurled them at the back of our heads, and he was a good throw. And this one right here, if y'all ever went to a central ball game while he was in school and saw him be a spirit lifter, you would remember it. So that was my, now this one right here has not been with us long, but I have so many, many proud moments for you. I'm just so thankful that you're here. And I look for great things from you. So you keep in touch with us as you go and just know that you're loved here. Thank you. You're welcome. I do want to share my favorite memory of Maddox. It's not bad. I've already shared it with Lisa. So Gavin and Timothy came to us when they were, Timothy was in kindergarten and Gavin was in second grade, like I said. And I had taken them to enroll in school, and Gavin was going to meet his teacher, Miss Llewellyn, at Central. Well, Maddox's class was across the hallway, and the door was open, and Maddox saw me. And he was going around, hey, Miss Amanda, hey, Miss Amanda, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> so, like, I, I don't know. I just always remember that. And then he and Gavin had a big time in, in church together all through the years. Um, now, Anna Lee, she has been so good. She was so good to my little boys, to Manny and Kiki, when they were at camp. She would, like, hang out with them and, and just let, let them <laughs> talk to them, I guess. And they were younger. Uh, Kiki was not even in the youth, technically, when we first started um, going to youth camp with Brian and Angela. And so um, she was very kind to them. McKinley... She's so sweet. 
She is very kind to my students at school. I teach special education, and I have one little girl who, well, she graduates this year too, but she always came in and sang McKinley's praises because she would sit with her at lunch, she would hang out with her, she would talk to her, and that means the world to some kids because um, they don't always feel like they belong, and McKinley helped her make, th make her feel like she belonged. Of course, with Gavin, there's too much to mention, so I'm not going to where I'll cry, but I'm very proud of each and every one of these students. We are so lucky that we have 11 graduates that have some tie to our church, whether they've been here or whether their parents or grandparents or great-grandparents go here, and I think that's amazing. Um, Kyle, would you like to say anything? Because I know you started out with uh, Gavin and and Maddox in the youth as well. I will hold the microphone for you. Sweet baby. So, um, McKinley, one of my favorite memories of her is I went to the Mitchell's annual yard sale that they have every year, and I'm a huge Braves fan. And McKinley was selling lemonade to try to go to a Braves game. We instantly became best friends that day. <laughs> All right, so Gavin, uh, we went to church camp one year. And if you don't know, this dude is a stud athlete. Um, so there were some other kids there that thought that they could do a plank longer than him. And he may have been trembling, but he won. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Uh, I didn't have Anna Lee very long, okay, but I do have a sweet memory of Yura already. So if you don't know, today's Yura's last Sunday with us. So make sure you get some extra uh, hugs from her because she's a very good hugger. And so she also, being Japanese, learned English in Alabama. <laughs> so Yura, would you like the microphone to tell them what day it is? Tell them what day it is. It is Sunday. <laughs> hey, what's tomorrow? Uh, Monday. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Um, so Maddox, um, so if you guys don't know, uh, it was, um, let's see, what was, what was the nicknames you had? I had, uh, oh yeah, I think it was Stud Muffin. <laughs> No, no, that was Tanner. You was Mac Daddy. Okay, so so when I came into the group, of course, uh, you know, two good-looking young men. So you know, we got Stud Muffin stamps and we got Mac Daddy Maddox. <laughs> so uh, we had a lot of fun with these kids. I didn't I didn't have uh, Case very long either, but Case is always a ball of energy. Um, he went on a uh, youth trip with us too, and uh, just like she said, if you've ever watched him. Uh, be, a, be an uplifter to anybody, you'll always remember it. He, he's a joy to be around. But all, all these kids, man, I don't mean to call y'all kids because you guys are young adults. I have some of you in my Sunday school class. I'm happy to have you in my class again. But um, it's our blessing to be able to know you guys and, and just know that we love you. We want the best for you uh, on this journey going forward, you know, whatever the Lord has in store for you uh, moving forward. And I know that whatever you guys do, you guys are going to uh, be successful in your endeavors and uh, that the Lord will bless your ways. So it's been our, our pleasure. So. Thank you. Do we have any of the youth that want to share any memories? No? Nobody? Okay, wait just a minute. Let Yura say something. Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, you know, today is my last church, and... <laughs> Just I want to say thank you, everyone, because <laughs> because sometimes I had a so like hard hard time to hear, um, but like after I moved to McKinney's house and she was so welcome to me and it was so like helped me to be here. And like, you know, Cooper's like, 
But I could <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, like they welcome to me so much, and they take to me here, and like everybody, everybody in here is like so nice to me, and like it was so help to me to be here, and like to my thought, and I never forget to. I never forget the memory that I get, I got here. So, thank you so much. <laughs> Gavin Davis, I'll, I'll take this opportunity to thank you for the time that you helped me out when I couldn't do certain jobs at the house. You came every time I called you. Carol and I appreciate the efforts, the work that you've done for us and your brothers and your whole family means so much to us. I lost my son nine years ago. And when I look at you, I think of my son. And I thank you. I will have to say that as someone who has a graduate up here, and I also see McKinley, Gavin, I've seen you at school, Maddox, and Case. I've seen them all at school these last four years when they started ninth grade. I've been there. And not only are they successful, but they're good kids. And we should all be proud as a church to have these people, these young adults, to represent us. They are good people. Now, I haven't seen Anna Lee every day at school, but I have seen her through the years, and she is a good person as well. And from what I've seen, so is Trace. So let's give them all a round of applause. Thank you all so much. If nobody else has anything to share. Part of their lives, both children's in the children's department as well as in the youth. I, I've been blessed through them. Thank you. We are so proud of our students at, at Pleasant Hill. Let's give them one more round of applause. I mean, all of our students, they're the best. They're excellent. It's great to be in a place where our families know the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, there's a passage in... The, the New Testament is recorded in the Gospel of Matthew and also in the Gospel of Mark. And the Pharisees are trying to trip Jesus up. And as they're talking to him and, and as they're questioning him, they're questioning, why doesn't his disciples do and follow all the little rules and stipulations that they had set up? And, the, uh, uh, and Jesus responds to them. And, he, and he, he begins to look at them and he says, you, you tell as, and you remember what Moses said, to honor your father and your mother. And he says, you don't even do that. He says, you take those things that are meant for taking care of those that, that, are, that, are, that are older than you, your moms and, and your dads and your families, and you're taking that, and your church is taking that, and, and, and you don't even honor your father and your mother. And then he began to speak to the disciples. And they asked him the question, why did you share this? Why did you mention this? And he said, because it's out of the heart. It's out of the heart that proceeds the things that come from the mouth. It's out of the heart that has manifested those things that we put our hands to, that we put our feet to every single day. 
And as I began to read and to study and, and consider that particular passage, I was considering as well, Lord, what, what is it that you're speaking to us? And, and this idea that you remind us of this law that is given through Moses to us to honor our mother and our father. Why is it that that's so important that in this moment, when you're teaching us that life is about a heart matter, that you would bring up that illustration? You know, to show honor is to give preference to. Choose first. Is to give your time to. We're all busy, amen? Graduates, you're going to be so busy. And everybody's going to have something for you to, you to do. I know it's already been that way. It, just get ready. Um, it's fixing to shift gears. But where you put your time exposes what's in your heart you see and it shows what you honor because ultimately what you honor and who you honor is what you respect in life why would God teach us and remind us and why would Christ remind and challenge even the religious leaders of the day who are all so wrapped up in worldly things and, and trying to, to scam people of money and using the church for their own personal gain? Why would he bring this thing back in and, and remind them to honor those that go before them? Because see, it's this. You can't get anywhere good alone. Amen. You didn't get here today by yourself. We've heard the testimonies even just a little bit this morning where others have been there with you. You've been with each other, family members, friends, uh, even people across the sea that you didn't even know have been with you. You can't get anywhere good alone. And you remember what the Word of God says. You're saved by grace through faith. Amen. It's not of yourself. When we learn to honor those around us, and when we condition the things that we say, the things we put our hands to, the places that we, that we allow our feet to take us, the things that we engage in in life, it exposes to in us those things that we value, those things that we respect, the things that we give preference to. And it will condition how we spend our time. And if you want to get somewhere, not just good, but somewhere great, never forget, you didn't get here alone. Amen? None of us did. We need others to go with us, to help us, sometimes to go with them. But most importantly, if we're going to get home, we need Jesus. Amen? We need Jesus. We can't get anywhere good alone so never forget to honor those around you because you know honor is the one thing that you you can't do for yourself amen you can't take honor you can't gather honor in honor is something you can only do for another give preference to others give first place to god And you'll go somewhere great. You'll go somewhere great. I'm so proud of our young people here. It's one of the prayers that I pray for, for Caleb every single morning. I walk in. Julie prays for him at night. I'll walk in and lay hands on him and, and pray for him in the, in the mornings. And one of the things that's always a part of that prayer is, God, help Caleb today to honor you and to honor his family. even when we're not honorable because when you give preference in time to others God will bless you God will bless you in Ephesians it says honor your father and your mother it's the only commandment with a promise it says so that your days will be long upon the earth you continue to honor people with your lives and honor God first and not only will you, but those around you will be blessed. Would you join me this morning as we pray for our graduates together? 
So thankful for them. So thankful for you, moms and dads and aunts and uncles and grandmothers and grandfathers and, and uh, church pastors, youth pastors and ministers that have poured into the lives of these young people. And as I see so many times as you are pouring into the lives of each other, as you honor one another, let us not to forget as we leave this place today, as we go into tomorrow, that the things that come out of our mouth Reveal what's in our heart. May we allow those things to honor one another, amen, and to honor God. Heavenly Father, thank you for these young men and women. The most precious thing in the world, save your saving grace that you have given us. And so, Lord, today, we give them back to you. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that in what, where, whatever direction that you have inspired them and led them and prepared them to go, Heavenly Father, that they would not forget you. Lord, protect them from all those things that, that people will tell them is best, that is right. And plant deep within their hearts the truth of your holy word and the eternal principle of your saving grace. And may they honor you, that their days may be long, and that their eternity may be blessed. Use them, Lord, to do great things. We know they're the best of the best. Father, we pray that you would bless them as they bless you and bless others, and as they honor you and honor their families. Go with them. Keep them and hold them close. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you guys and thank God for you. We're so thankful for the ministry that goes on here at Pleasant Hill. So many times we don't get to see all of those moments that you heard little snippets of today. So I want you to remember this as you prepare to leave this place this morning. Don't allow Pleasant Hill to be a place where you come and you hear a good song. We heard some great ones today, amen. Wasn't that a blessing? Bless my heart. Showed me Jesus. But don't let this just be a place that you come to, to hear a good song and, and to hear a word. May it be a place where you come to connect to God's people and to the Lord Jesus. So that you can know what it is to honor him, and to honor others. For when we walk out this door, the way we live our lives speaks of one another, amen? I'm a part of you. You're a part of me. We're a part of one another. Let's honor each other and honor God with all that we do. God bless you today. Go with you and keep you so thankful for you. I do want to remind you this morning, forgot to do it earlier today, there are offering plates up here in the front when you go to leave today. If, if the Lord's placed that on your heart, we invite you to give to the ministry of, of the church as we continue to support our young people and our kids and, and all the other great things that God does through here. But most of all, I want to thank you for your time as you honor God. God bless you, go with you, and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen.